Uh, thank you, Stephen. Uh, and can I acknowledge your role as the editor-in-chief of the series of BGA documents? Uh, they are um, an, an excellent addition to the discussion between uh, the government and business. And also acknowledge the members of our team uh, who are here today, uh, Amy Adams, Phil Heatley, uh, David Carter and Nathan Guy, who have sat through many uh, intricate discussions to get the document to this point, but illustrate the way the government works, which is uh, highly collaborative um, and always pushing forward. Just a couple of points I'd like to make about where this fits in the, in the government's bigger picture. Uh, our, our policy is driven by really a couple of straightforward things with respect to uh, the economy. One is focus on what we can control. We've spent a lot of time tracking China, watching what's happening in Europe, worrying about US monetary policy, uh, and we do. Uh, we do keep an eye on those things, but we can't control any of them. We've tried to. Uh, we've met with Mr Bernanke, uh, with the European Central Bank, with the UK uh, Bank of England governor, but they didn't, haven't taken much notice of what we said to them. So we've still got a high exchange rate. Uh, but with the thing we can control is domestic competitiveness. We have total control over that. And so we're focusing on that pretty relentlessly. Uh, the second thing that's driving us here is uh, that there isn't one big thing. There's been something of a tendency in our economic analysis to say that if only the government took this step or that step, everything would come right. Well, that's not the nature of this recovery. Uh, because we are deleveraging, reducing debt in New Zealand at the same time as most other developed economies. Uh, we've got a long grinding recovery with grumpy growth. And in that context, there isn't one big thing. There's about 300 things we need to do, just as people are doing with their businesses and their households. And so the business growth agenda uh, sets out for, uh, those 300 things, literally, uh, for uh, the purpose of transparency with the business community. Uh, it's an invitation to treat with us, with the government. If you've got better ideas, other ideas that should be in this policy pipeline, then please let us know. Uh, and also it uh, brings a level of accountability for government, where uh, we said we were going to do this and uh, you get to see whether we did or we didn't, and we all get to agree whether uh, it actually worked. Uh, finally, with respect to this document on natural resources, it's really important that both the government and the business community decide that uh, it's uh, not up to the Greens to show some interest in natural resources. Uh, in many respects, New Zealand's best capital is its natural capital. And the challenge is not so much to say we care about it, we do. Uh, the challenge is to uh, get it into a framework that makes sense for jobs and incomes. Uh, because too often this is an argument between those who uh, want jobs and incomes and those who don't. In fact, that's how it's shaping up at the moment. Uh, and the, what's, why this document is so important is because it brings a natural capital into a sensible economic framework and grapples with the very real uh, challenges of, for instance, ensuring that we use our water resource in a way that generates jobs and incomes and maintains uh, New Zealand's uh, environmental standards. Uh, and as a government, we've uh, taken to that task with some enthusiasm uh, and for New Zealand it's important we achieve um, public support and consensus around these issues so that we avoid the divisive kind of arguments that just hold back the economy and starve our young people of the opportunities that they would like to have here in New Zealand. One of the results of our broad focus on competitiveness through the BGA is, uh, is that in my view we're closing the policy gap with Australia. Uh, ministers who are in Australia are now getting very consistently positive feedback about their perception of where New Zealand business is getting to as they finally get to grips in Australia now with um, the fact that they've lost competitiveness and the global financial crisis uh, has finally turned up. Uh, and if for no other reason you should be enthusiastic about this project. Thank you.